Hello, my name is Andrzej Skrzypacz and I'm a professor of economics at the Graduate School of Business at the Stanford University. We're located in California, in particular in the Silicon Valley. My research is on economics and the big chunk of economics is thinking about prices, which will be the topic of your class today. And you may wonder, where do the prices come from? And let's try to think about it today. Imagine you have saved $10 and now you're trying to figure out what to do with the $10. The first question that may come to your mind, is it a lot or is it a little? How useful is $10? That depends on very much on where you are right now. Are you in a place where it is expensive? For example, in California, prices tend to be pretty high. Or are you in a place which is inexpensive? Maybe you travel to some exotic country in which the pineapple happens to be very cheap in that place, much cheaper than here in California. Another question you may ask, it's what's the value of, of the $10 today, and what's the value of the $10 in the past, and what will be the value of the $10 in the future? One of the reasons is that as time goes on, a given t-shirt may become more fashionable or less fashionable. And you can imagine in which direction that affects prices. Another reason prices of goods change is not only how fashionable they are, but also the costs of making them change. And the third reason prices of goods change is because taxes may change. In most countries, when you buy goods, part of the price that you pay goes to the government. There are certain patterns we observe. For example, goods that the government would like people to discourage from consuming, alcohol and cigarettes, tend to have high taxes imposed on them and goods that the government would like to encourage people to consume or make it easier for people to consume, for example, basic food, often have very low taxes. For example, in California, food is not taxed at all. The idea of money is really surprising. If you think about it, somebody gives you a candy or a sandwich or a slice of pizza and all they get in exchange is a piece of paper. Originally when humans started transactions there was no money. As human populations grew we wanted to have trade. Depending on the place in the world they started using different forms of money. Originally people have been using gold. In some islands they were using seashells as money. There are other islands famous for using very large stones, which were rare on those islands, as money. You can imagine somebody's whole savings being three big stones in front of their house. There's a lot of transactions we do that do not involve prices. For example, if you were going to ask me to borrow this pen, do you think I'm going to tell you, well, it's going to cost you two cents per minute? I don't think so. There's a lot of other transactions that what happens is we do each other favors and we don't expect money for it. Neighbors borrow from each other things. Uh, friends give each other advice. Classmates teach each other. These are all important things. These are all important transactions in a sense, but they do not involve money, but they're a very important part of our society. Is it possible that we will not have prices? Prices are actually quite important in the world as well. Prices help us determine which things are scarce and which things are plentiful. One of the big reasons we care so much about the price of oil is because all the many uses of oil. So many of us drive their cars and as a result we care the price of gasoline which is made out of oil. Also goods are being shipped all around the world and both trucks that deliver goods and airplanes that deliver goods, they use a lot of gasoline. And finally, in production, including production of electricity and heat, uh, oil is sometimes used. Lots of other things we consume, even a sandwich you may consume today, have some relationship to the price of oil. Because you will be facing prices throughout your life, it's very good to have an understanding and to develop an understanding where prices come from.